Hello everyone, Marcus Dahl here. I wanted to do a quick little video to cover one of the topics I see coming up rather frequently in the comment sections down below in the videos, and that's the subject of using lucid dreams for virtual reality. For the uninitiated, lucid dreams are a different variety of dreams whereby the person who is experiencing a dream, which basically amounts to a vivid representation of information presented to the mind when you're in REM sleep or basically any type of sleep really, well, essentially what happens is you wake up whilst still being in the dream. Most dreams tend to occur in a bit of a hazy state of consciousness where you're not fully aware that you're necessarily dreaming. So whenever you do become cognizant of the fact that you're dreaming, it kind of changes the nature of the dream in some capacity. Most people wake up, but on some occasions, you stay awake within the dream and gain an almost omnipotent degree of control within that space. A lot of people use it to just end a nightmare real quick, fly around, make mountains, do whatever basically. It's nigh omnipotence really since you're basically just using your brain like a free processor in that case. So it makes sense that using lucid dreams would come up as an idea. It basically covers the three parameters that you see very frequently brought up for full dive. All that full dive really does is read the user inputs as a method of control, sends out information that blocks out the actual senses, essentially making it so that you can only experience the virtual world, and it paralyzes the user so that they don't act out their actions, causing them injury in the real world. Lucid dreaming does the same thing. A dream is already fully immersive. When you're lucid, you're now capable of moving around, and your body naturally paralyzes you so you don't act out your dreams anyway. So it basically seems to fit the bill without any issue. But of course, as the tone of the video kind of shows, there's that big but. So yeah, the issue really comes into the fact that dream or not, it's still dealing with this little thing inside of your noggin called your brain. And the problem with the brain is we don't really know how it works all that well. We understand some of the basic principles, but we're still far away from being able to manipulate the brain to the capacity that is demonstrated in Sword Art Online, or even close to anything that would be required for something like lucid dreaming, which, depending on how you think about it, may arguably be even more difficult than just plain old following the mold that Sword Art Online left behind. The issue is we don't really have any good methods of directly interfacing with the brain to the degree of precision that we require. For the brain, guys, you have to understand, this thing is a very complicated piece of machinery. The brain has hundreds of trillions of connections inside of it, being activated at various different times, in different matters, changing almost every single second. So really, if you try to get a good grasp of what's going on in the brain, it's gonna be difficult no matter what you do. Problem then becomes that lucid dreaming kind of implies that you are somewhat controlling the simulation that is appearing within your mind. So if you want to use lucid dreams specifically as a method of controlling the user or generating a virtual reality experience, you're effectively brainwashing people into creating the simulation that you want them to experience. So it's kind of a weird case where you're making the user both the processor and the user at the exact same time. It's a bit bizarre, but really that's just the only way I can really see it since that's what's kind of implied by the lucidity of lucid dreams. In addition, there are just plenty of other issues with regards to the whole system since, like I mentioned, we're already kind of out of our depth with trying to deal with the brain as it is. So when you try to add consciousness as an extra layer to that, I just can't help but think that we're overcomplicating the matter even more so than what we already need to. We can kind of already tell which way everything goes when it's trying to get into the brain since there are nerves that we can directly observe. The issue now becomes when you get into the giant web and basically labyrinthian system that is the human brain itself. I just want to say guys, there's just really no good way to know for sure whether or not pursuing Lucid Dream VR is really an advisable format since it's basically about as effective an idea as just following SAO's idea, which is control what the brain sees, manipulate it, do whatever. It's not really all that helpful from a standpoint of trying to get the actual job done versus just thinking of methods to potentially do it. Guys, I don't want to come across as though I'm trying to really downplay the idea. The reality is, it is a good idea and it does cover every standpoint. We just have to think about some of the implications of what the technology we're trying to develop here would actually necessitate. I personally think it seems a little bit more difficult than any other virtual reality method barring reality warping. 
So I'd say that maybe in my case I wouldn't pursue it, but I don't want to discourage you guys from thinking up alternative solutions. There are a lot of ways to get to the same goal that is full dive virtual reality. They can possibly use a holodeck-like system. We can go SAO neural interface using a helmet. We can go Axel World's neural implants. We can go with the Matrix's brain jacking. You can use a very sophisticated system of levers, movement pieces, and all sorts of other stuff like you might see in something like, say, uh, Ready Player One or something like that. There are a lot of ways to get that same end goal. But the reality is, whichever one we get to, we have to figure out exactly what we're doing in order to accomplish it. It's not enough to just have the principles, we have to start diving in a little deeper. That's the kind of thing that's kind of gotten me stuck, since it's one thing to come up with the principles or look into them, it's another thing entirely to think of the method to execute them to an exact degree. If you think that virtual reality via lucid dreams is workable, I actually suggest that you go for it because personally I do see a method in which lucid dreaming and dreaming in general can have value towards the research and development for virtual reality. Just because dreams are a very interesting method of studying the brain that we currently may have. I mean we've started to become capable of recording what's going on in dreams to a certain extent. Maybe that's not exact right now, but it's pretty much the closest that we've got to something manipulatable. And if you can apply that dream recording technology to something like lucid dreams, we might be able to monitor consistently made activity via the use of users that are trained specifically to conduct certain activities to see whether or not they can get a repeating pattern out of the brain or demonstrate the way that the brain changes. Guys, whenever it comes to dealing with the brain, there's really no certainty. Nobody really knows exactly what's working, and even when we think we do, we all of a sudden come out with some new information that can make our entire worldview on the entire system just break down over a moment just because of how complicated this thing is. It's one of the biggest challenges that we have nowadays, so I don't want to discourage you guys from looking into other methods like Lucid Dream VR. I just want you guys to double check the information that we might be looking into. Because in my case, I have a non-religious reason why I don't want to pursue virtual reality via the usage of dreams. I think that's one area I'd prefer to leave either to nature itself or towards independent study without the manipulation aspect or dealing with the brain. But that's just me guys. If you want to pursue it, definitely look into it. It has the good principles. Like I said, all three bases of full dive covered in full stop. Now you just need to figure out a way to interface with the brain. And if you do figure it out, let me know because we're going to need that for every other method of virtual reality that doesn't involve physical pieces moving around. Well then everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. This has been a long time coming and I'm sorry for no videos in the past while. It's been rather busy, school's just gotten out a little bit of over a week ago, and yet I've still got a ton of stuff to do. I just don't have as much time as I'd like to right now. I'm currently working on Dreams of Salvation's latest update. I just added in shooting magic blasts at this point in time. So who knows what we're going to be seeing by New Year's Day. But I'm still trying to hit those deadlines. I doubt I'm going to be able to hit as perfectly as I'd like. But I'm still starting to feel a little bit more satisfied with what's coming about. Well then everyone, thank you very much for watching this video. This has been Marcus Dahl, logging out.